Hello everyone. I would like to introduce you to this 1964 Suzy Goose vanity with matching stool, rug, and mirror. When I reattach the mirror, I will have to remove some of the glue that's stuck on it. So in doing so, I'm going to have to be super, super careful. So let me walk you through some of the features of the vanity. There's the finial on top, followed by lots of swirls and ornate detailing. Then the faux lamps on both sides. The Kleenex holder and the hole on the left would be where Ken's photo would have been. Then there are the individual compartments to hold pens, barrettes, and perhaps some makeup. My favorite part of the vanity has to be the telephone, and I'll be attaching a cord to it. You can see the hole at the top and one on the back. The receiver is attached to the phone to ensure it won't get lost. Also on the back of the vanity is the year, which reads Mattel Incorporated 1964, and at the top, Suzy Goose, Jonesville, Michigan, followed by the motto, Toys That Build Character. The section in the middle is where the mirror base can be put on or removed from the table, as you see in the video clip. The two doors slide out and in smoothly. As to whether I'll repaint the vanity, I likely won't, because it's in exceptional condition. It's very white. No yellowing like many vanities I've seen. Exposure to UV light, the plastic turns yellow, even brown, if exposed too long. For this reason, I can understand why some are painted and given new life, but for me personally, I prefer to leave the vanity as is. It was suggested I touch up the gold areas, but I think the fading of the gold actually adds character to the vanity. I began the process by attempting to pick the glue off with a box cutter, a terrible idea, because I could have cracked the plastic. So much for being super, super careful. I then tried sanding the glue off with sandpaper, then it dawned on me to use one of the sapphire discs from my manicure and pedicure set, which did the trick. Fragments of the glue flaked off leaving the mirror base smooth, allowing the mirror to lay flat.
After the glue dried, it was on to polishing the mirror. The best way to make a mirror sparkle is to use a vinegar and water solution in a squirt bottle, spritzing it on, then polishing the mirror with a newspaper. I didn't use the solution on the mirror, only the newspaper, which works just as well. Off camera, I went back and double knotted the cord to ensure it would stay inside the phone. The Kitty Brush and Toy Company made children's housekeeping toys primarily for a girls' market. It would be best known for the Suzy Goose brand. In 1949, it started making plastic injection molded toys, then in 1961 began making Barbie and Ken furniture and accessories for the Mattel Toy Company. Suzy Goose garnered national attention when Art Linkletter gave the products away promotionally on his television program. Kitty Brush was housed in the old J.J. Deal and Son Carriage Factory in Jonesville, Michigan. One of the last surviving factory buildings in the 19th century, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2012. In 1937, Paul A. Jones, owner of Kitty Brush, bought the factory. Workers made all kinds of toys, board games, dolls, furniture, and of course, Susie Goose housekeeping sets. In 1970, Kitty Brush and Toys ceased operation. The company was liquidated and its plastics equipment transported to Eden, Ohio, where it was used at a plastic injection mold plant. Here's a final look at the vanity. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.